<laughs> hey, good day everyone. I'm in New Zealand. In fact, I'm in Christchurch. And this is an amazing company that I've just learned a whole lot about. They're called Arc Active and they make a revolutionary battery. Now don't cough up your Wheaties. It's based on lead acid, but it's nothing like a lead acid battery. And you're gonna learn about it. So let's go and check it out. Lead acid battery is one of the oldest industrial technologies. In fact, if you opened up the lead acid battery in your car and pulled it apart, that fundamental design that you would see in that battery was patented in 1881. So, you what know, well, I can't do the maths, but you know, 140 years of that one design. I mean, it's pretty impressive, really. It's a long-lived industrial technology. So we will be the first company to re-engineer the electrode structures of that battery. And so what, is, what does that mean? Is that if you look at a, a lead battery today, it's actually a lead grid, and then you push a lead paste into that, into that grid. And so there's a lead grid and lead paste for the positive electrode a lead grid and a lead paste for the negative electrode. And what, what our thought was, was why don't we change the 3D structures of the electrode structure and, the, and by taking a carbon fibre fabric, so non-woven carbon fibre fabric, and then impregnating the same lead paste into that fabric. You know, at the end of the day, batteries are, what are your materials? and what are your 3D structures. And so we didn't want to change the electrochemistry, so we kept the, the same electrochemistry, but we've changed the 3D structures, and that is transformational for the product. That's uh, at the five hour rate, that's 21 kilowatt hours of actual battery capacity, and the battery stack, inverter, BMS, cabling, uh, everything coupled together, $4,800. Whoa, okay, that's Australian dollars. Uh, Aussie dollars. Wow, and in terms of power, how much power can you get out of that? Yeah, so, that, that's, that, so that's gonna, at the moment, we just limit it through the inverter, so that's five kilowatts. Right, and the uh, sort of the disassembled version behind you, there's eight separate modules. Yeah. Um, what's the voltage of each of those modules? Yeah, so we've got, uh, so what we have here is 48 volt batteries, and so each battery at the five hour rate is 2.7 um, kilowatt hours, and uh, they're not light. You know, they're 55 kilos each, so that's probably the the one uh, topic that has to be, you know, that just comes with lead batteries. Right. Uh, in form factor, they look quite manageable. So 55 kilos, yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And it, you know, it, it's actually half the weight of a lithium battery. You know, that, one of those batteries is half the weight of a lithium battery, so I think it's pretty doable from an installer standpoint. So behind you are some of these actual batteries, a working example. Yep. So tell me a bit about the specification of your batteries. So the battery, so uh, number one, this is an entirely different battery. So we've got an electrode, so we've, we've got an electrode structure, which is novel, but there's also an architecture change in these, in these batteries. So every, commercially available lead battery today is what is regard, known as a prismatic battery. And it just describes the way in which the um, electrodes are connected up. The, what this is is called a bipolar battery. It's probably not the best term in the world, but it's a bipolar battery in that the electrode stacks are, actually have a, a bipole plate between a positive and a negative. And this bipole plate is designed to allow electrical conductivity but restricts ionic conductivity so you know one the acid on one side of the plate cannot see the acid on the other side and what that does is it change the path distance for electron transport so at the moment in a prismatic plate as we have there the electrons come in at the top of the plate and have to distribute down uh, the entire plate whereas in a bipole plate that's now through the thickness and so it's two orders of magnitude reduction in current path so that what that enables is to homogenize the current distribution and that protects the battery from some failure modes.